Hello everyone, this is Mars and I welcome back to my channel. This day we are actually going to see all the shortcuts which I use to create something. So this is not a like a creation video, this is just the shortcuts and the explanation and I also have a big announcement because I am I'm actually going to my hostel uh, day after tomorrow so this this might be the last video which i actually film i mean a record whatever it is so um i try to explain everything so yeah so i i have already took the mask and the to create a base i'm going to show you guys these uh shark kits here um Let's change the six colors to something else. Oh, this is okay. That's nice. And active color buttons to green. You guys can see green. I it, now it's color so nice. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, before starting, I'm going to tell again. This is not yet like the creation video. It's just the uh just me talking about all the shortcuts which i use and what to use for the to studio so this is blender and i have imported these two things mask and the to create a base set so this is just for the explanation um i won't recommend you guys to use these two uh, for creation of videos so i mean creation of something and uh, for creation of the top you guys can use the outer like let me show you um so for creation of top uh, you guys can use this um uh otr 52 and uh, also that's for the creation of top and for creation of like the clothing like dresses you guys can actually use the it that that sample is in custom shader like the dr 57 which is actually dr 55 so i can you guys can actually see the difference right it's dr 57 but it is actually dr 55 so it, you guys can use this thing for creation of a um like a dress and for creation of the bottom you guys can either use this or this based on whatever your uh, whatever length you are going to make or whatever thing you are going to make so um, my room is kind of a little noisy because there is a lot of blend here so yeah let's get started so first of all this is an object mode you can actually see here this is object mode this is how we go to the different modes so for Zapato you need an object mode I'm sorry you need an object mode an edit mode and sculpt mode the text paint mode and weight paint mode so I don't recommend you guys uh, this thing because some of you guys might be using just the edit mode for doing everything so if you are not so well versed in scrap mode you can like you don't you don't need to know about it like it's not like you don't need to know about it you can know about it but don't like don't come um, complete what is it oh my god i forgot the word don't make it complex for yourself just do which is simple and which is easy for you so i mean this video i'm going to just explain all the different modes and uh, all the different steps in the object mode so object mode has this um uh this view and select view select add object so uh, for this thing uh view is like the two bar side bar so this is called a two bar so if you guys don't i think it's the side bar this is, oh that is a side bar so this is two bar so if you don't want this two bar you can actually close it select is uh, for the object object mode you don't actually need to start do the selection right center you just Mm, you just see what are the things here and um, I don't I don't think it's useful for the object mode so add mode is where you add stuff like meshes uh, this is this is the thing you guys probably would add like 
this uh, cylinder for the making of bottom and diamonds extras and these two stuffs you can actually get a lot of a lot of extra stuffs but uh, remember uh, these things are actually having like a lot of uh, face vertex or polygon count so you must make sure to reduce all the counts so yeah and the next thing here is what you might use is a curl but I'm not going to tell about this curl we'll say about another curl which is uh, kind of simple so in object mode this object is transformed this you won't use it um, if, if you guys uh, want to you guys can actually use it but I don't actually use it parenting is um, uh, is actually necessary but um, this is not very good for parenting or click object and go to and that's not like that so for in the object you this is you can actually see convert this thing you guys actually need so if you are actually making something like a necklace uh, you need this uh, like the volume like a cylinder thing around the neck right this necklace won't be a little like a line that line won't be actually shown if you just uh, create a little edges and that won't be actually shown in the zipper so you guys actually need the need to make it as a curve convert it as a curve i will show you guys how in, in the editing mode so yeah this is why you go for the curve and the mesh so these are for here so this is move which is also set by g like if you press g it will move this thing also it will move so if you guys actually want to make a precise move like go to this side go to that side or uh, just like to follow the path you need to select with this move with this if you just don't want to just move from the like in the line you can actually use g and throw it out like that so this thing is uh, called rotate this is also like this uh, these type groups of uh, tools are like you when you want to do in uh, only in a particular direction so it's kind of like if you want to do it only in the particular direction it's very useful for you so this is r and it helps you rotate this thing right you can actually see right so yeah well, for rotation you can also you use r in your keyboard to rotate and this is scale but you actually uh, scale this mesh to bigger or smaller like i want to scale this thing higher yes you can see right it became too high so you can also also use yes it will be scaling in all direction as i said so this thing here is transform which uh, compiles all the things here all the all the in uh, uh options here so after that's all for here on the side so in the side you can actually see this is the x direction if from here you can see what is in the back so this is wireframe vision uh, view so you can actually see wireframe pretty well so i use i actually use this both of the option and you guys can also use a lot so yeah so um I think this is for the part 2. I will do this thing again in the this for the part 1. This I will do this thing again in the part 2 because my time is running out. So I'm sorry. Bye. I'll see you in the next video.